Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I just want to make a quick video showing you a little inexpensive upgrade I made to my Ender 3. As you may know, I put the all-metal hot end on this Ender 3, and I have actually got it working really well. This was a $7 all-metal hot end from AliExpress. But when I heated it to 300 degrees in order to properly tighten it down so that I wouldn't get have problems with leakage and, and other issues, I destroyed the stock thermistor. And yeah, I know, they're really not supposed to take 300 degrees, but, you know, I thought I'd try it. But the whole idea of clamping the, the um, wires down against the body of the heat block, that just isn't a good idea to begin with, but this is an inexpensive printer, and that is an inexpensive way of doing things. So the upgrade I made is this. This is a screw-in thermistor. It's not a thermocouple. It's still pretty much the same thermistor, but it's set in this little brass block that you can thread in as opposed to just the bulb, little glass bulb pushing into a hole and then using a screw to hold it in. Now, the good thing about it is, besides what I just told you, is it uses the same thread that the screw goes in. So you don't have to modify the heat block at all. And before you ask, it will fit, the cover will fit back on. It's close, but it does fit back on. I have had it completely screwed back on. And as you know, I want to be able to print in nylon, particularly in a material such as Zytel, which I really need to be able to do 275 to 285. So my hopes is, and I am led to believe, is that this part will handle those temperatures without blowing up or melting or whatever my other, whatever my other glass one did. People will tell me that I have to put a thermocouple in this. The problem with a the thermocouple isn't that they're expensive or that they'd be hard to me, for me to mount, but the stock Ender 3 board will not run one. And the least expensive board that I can find that will is about 150 bucks. And I'm kind of leery about putting a $150, single $150 upgrade into a $179 printer. Plus, most of those boards will not fit into the stock Ender case, so you have to separate the, the control board case from its normal location. Now, there is somebody over on GitHub who is making a board that will do all that and fit in, but apparently they are still in the prototype stage. They are not done yet. So, I do not want to heat this up to 300 right now because I still have PLA in it, and I don't want to burn the PLA up. But I just want to show you, let me move this, that it does hold temperature really well. I have run it up as high as 250 with the PLA in it, and it seems to be fine. Um, everything seems to be working every bit as good as it was before. No changes in Marlin are required for this. This runs off the same settings that the standard thermistor does. So, my plan to make an inexpensive printer and inexpensive upgrades to print this nylon material seems to be going well for me. I have got some new settings for the all-metal hot end for working with PLA and other materials. I've got the retraction settings dialed in. I'm getting prints that are every bit as good as on the stock hot end. So that's it for now. We will continue trying this little experiment of printing these higher-end materials on the Ender 3. If you've liked this video, if I've helped you out, Please like and subscribe, and um, I have some affiliate links below. I believe that two-color printer is still on sale for the next couple of days. If you have the money and you've been interested in a two-color printer, check that out down below, and I will talk to you next time. Bye for now. So, just a quick addendum to my video. Just when I posted it, and I, like not even five minutes afterwards, my um, wife came in and asked me, Can you make me a box? So I said, sure, I can make you a box. She didn't want a lid. We settled on sizes. I threw it together in Fusion 360 real quick. And here it is. This is with the hot end and the new thermistor I put in. The all-metal hot end, the new one I just put in. And um, as you can see, it's pretty darn good. I think I'm, at least as far as this is concerned, this is every bit as good as the prints I was getting with the standard hot end. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, it was only PLA, but um, hopefully we'll be getting some good results with the, um, the nylons too. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye.